What's going on everybody? So back in the video and today's video and bring you guys back another top 10 C tweak video. So you guys really enjoyed the video uploaded last night. It has almost 6,000 views already. I also want to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. We reached that milestone so quickly. I didn't think we would hit it that quick. So all the tweaks that I mentioned in this video will be down below in the description of the video as well as the sources that you will need to add to get any of these specific tweaks. And also if I start to add timestamps in the descriptions of each tweak. So if you don't want to, if you're not really interested in a tweak, you guys can skip ahead through the video. So before we start the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell. So you guys never miss a video. The first tweak we have in today's video is called the five icon doc and it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you guys uh, install this tweak, it's going to allow you to get five icons on your doc instead of the uh, original stock four icons. So you guys obviously notice I've added my Safari to my dock just a very simple tweak called five icon dock the next tweak for you guys is called the power module and what this tweak allows you to do is get more options in your control center where you guys can do a quick reboot quick respring uh, refresh your ui cache so once you do install this you will have to do this first by going to settings go into your control center and then you guys should have a new option called power module so it should be under the more controls where you will have to um, add it yourself and then once you guys have added, you guys can open up your control center and you guys will have a bunch of new options right here. So we force uh, click it right here. You have the option to uh, let's go back here. You have the option to respring UI cache, save mode, reboot, power down and even lock screen. So pretty cool how you guys can do that um, just from installing this week. So this one's called power module. The next tweak for you guys is called cozy badges. And what this tweak allows you to do is if you guys look at my home screen now, we have um, the badges are completely different. They're not numbered anymore. Um, they're at the bottom of the icon. So for my app store, I have 62 messages, most likely from updates. And it even matches the icon color, which is what I love about this tweak. So um, when you do install, we can go into settings. Uh, tweaks and then look for the tweak itself cozy badges and then you have the um, option to enable it obviously and enable in your dock as well and you guys can even change like the regular labels labels with notification and obviously change the offset if you want to change like um, how high the icon is or how low it is so a pretty awesome tweak so make sure you after you guys apply any changes tap on respring the next tweak for you guys is called cc music artwork one of my favorite tweaks you guys can get for if you're into music so every single time you play any sort of music from whether that may be spotify or apple music i'm gonna show you guys real quick so if i go to my spotify application right here and i play a song you guys are gonna see if i just turn the volume real quick if my uh, Spotify icon will completely change so it'll match the artwork, which is awesome. So if I pull down my control center, I'll go to the next song right here. And for some reason kind of glitch. So let's go back into the actual Spotify app. We'll play the music and we'll play a song. You guys will see the icon will change to that specific artwork. So make sure you guys go check this one out. This one's called the CC Music Artwork. So same exact thing. This tweak is also a music tweak. This one's called the Now Playing Icon. So instead of showing and matching the uh, music artwork to your icon on your home screen, it's going to match it in your control center right here where the music icon is. And obviously this works with Apple Music or Spotify. Same exact thing. If we switch a song, it's going to change that artwork and match it with this background right here which is pretty awesome so i love music tweaks one of my favorite things of jill breaking so this one's called now playing icon the next sticker for you guys is called rgb keys and this one allows you to get rgb keys obviously on your keyboard so if i open up my twitter application right here and just click on a tweet where you guys see the keyboard you guys are going to be obviously see that my keyboard is now an rgb type so one thing i will mention if you do install this tweak it will um decrease your battery life quite a bit just from using this tweak so i just want to let you guys know before installing this i wouldn't recommend it but if you just want this cool look for like a day or so you guys can install it and then uninstall it after but i don't really recommend getting this tweak although it's kind of a cool look to your keyboard there are other tweaks out there which i'll show you guys in future videos that allow you to change the color of it next we're going to be showing you guys is called download bar 13 this actually does work on ios 14 this was made for ios 13 but i've tested it it works on the latest version of ios 14 on the uncovered jailbreak so what it allows you to do is it gives you a whole new look every single you down every time you guys download a new app from the app store so um, if i go ahead to the app store and update this best buy application uh, if we go back and look for it on my home page right here 
you guys will see um once it starts to download it's going to give you a progress bar now instead of that little circle icon so you guys will see it'll also give you the percentage if you guys can kind of see that which is awesome and yeah guys make sure you guys go check this one out called download bar 13. The next circuit for you guys is called Digital Battery 13. This one also was for iOS 13, but it still does work on iOS 14. And you guys can see that we have the percentage now on my uh, status bar right here. If we go to the control center, you're still gonna see it. And what's the awesome thing about it is if it's in like low power mode or if it's like under the 20%, the warning, it will actually change the color of the uh, percentage here so you guys see it my phone's currently at 13 percent, so it's now red and you guys can obviously change the color to whatever you want so if we go into the tweak itself there's different styles you guys uh, can select the low power mode low battery uh, color um, charging color you guys can change that to whatever you want which is pretty awesome so there's a couple other settings you guys can mess around with and obviously tap on respring once you applied any changes the next circuit for you guys is called meliora i don't know that's how you pronounce it but this one gives you a whole new look to your volume rockers so every time i go up and down you guys see it's now on the left hand side uh i remember back on like ios like 13 and 12 it just took up your entire screen uh but now obviously i was 14 changed that but this is a different look and it's pretty uh I, I honestly like it better than the stock ios 14 so once you do install it um there are a couple of settings you guys can change right here like the position of it if you don't like it on the left hand side you can maybe move to the right hand side you can even change the color of it get custom colors i just left, left everything as default but you guys can kind of mess around with that this one's called Melior. The last figure for you guys is called Whoops. And what this one allows you to do is if you've ever experienced trying to message like one of your friends, but you didn't mean to send them a specific message, you obviously can't cancel it out. But with this tweak, it actually gives you a delay every single time you send a message and you can even cancel it out and you can set a timer for that. So if I go into my application right here, my uh, message app, and we type in a message, I type in yo and I send this message. We have three seconds where we can cancel it. So at one, I can cancel it and it won't send. So um, it's basically like a send delay for your message application. So um, you can change the timer if you want or like the delay time. So mine's at three seconds right now. So yeah, this is a very useful tweak if you accidentally send like a photo or a message and you want to cancel it really quickly hey guys that's basically it for the video hope you guys did enjoy this one um if you didn't really enjoy some of the tweaks don't worry i'm gonna be uploading a ton more videos like this and because i know obviously not everyone's gonna like tweaks that i mentioned in this video but uh like i said more videos on the way um top 10 c tweak videos i know you guys love that series so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video as well as drop a like on the video yeah guys that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one.